Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do a tips and tricks on SimCity Build It. When you first go into the SimCity Build It, usually you go to maybe the, the, the airport deliveries uh, to different countries and then you realize the time uh, is actually running out and you, you do not have the items that you need to create uh, to you know send to those deliveries. All you need to do is go to this particular building which is right beside the disaster building uh, Wu Tower 8 you go to this uh, on the global trade HQ yes and go and find the items that you need usually it's those expensive items that uh, you, you actually cannot um, make in time you can actually find over here the only downside of this is you cannot spy, find specific items that you really really need sometimes um, you go to for example this little glass thing uh, you go inside and you might be able to find uh, certain items that is not actually uh, advertised in the, the trade report and for example this you got this uh 1800 the, the handbag I, 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 I need that for another uh, residential uh, building upgrades and uh, of course this as well and uh, this as well and that's it and before you go uh, check for a little gift box that is within the city the city area sometimes oh this city is very nice wow okay i don't see any gift box maybe the next city there will be okay that is how you go and um uh, uh, get the, the the items that you need for global hq but obviously not all the items are available in the global hq then you have to focus your laser focus to static requirement for let's say this uh building of residential buildings these items will do not have a time countdown limit so you will not go go out uh, you know when you come back in two days time and then you realize all the deliveries you cannot meet uh you know the within the time deadline then the, the only thing you can fulfill is the residential buildings because this requirement does not change unless you change uh, for example i do not have this particular item uh the, the police hat then i have to change the building plans uh to create a, a new building without those uh, hats and always remember to collect your tax in these city hall buildings uh as long as you have like 100% uh, you know, um, people that is happy that you pay tax to you and you can collect those tax for money and you can actually build more buildings in the, in the long run. What can you do uh, when you have a uh, max out the uh, city storage? First is to check whether if you can increase um, your capacity by uh, upgrading them. Uh, if you do not have the items to upgrade the, the capacity of your, your, uh, your city storage, then you may have to sell off some items for example in the trade depot uh, which is this uh, particular uh, area this is a trade depot uh, try to sell off certain items that is in excess that means you have uh, you know uh, excessive amount of those items then you may want to sell them off uh, but try not to sell off the important items like the, the first few items you can see here those are things to expand your land and, and, and you do not want to sell them off. Uh, only sell off those items that are building materials, uh, shipping materials or the cargo dock materials. Uh, do not sell off things that you need to expand uh, the, the, the city storage or the expansion of the area. You do not want to sell off all these items. There's also this Metropolis uh, leak system that you can actually complete the assignment and you may be able to get some uh, rewards from there and of course get into the leaderboards as well. You notice my my traffic jam is uh, not very much. The, the reason why is because uh, I've actually followed some YouTubers uh, and, and uh, Redditors. They mentioned to reduce the traffic jams, you might want to reduce the intersection of uh, like so this intersection. The traffic actually stop at the red lights. But 
without the intersection using a winding road you can actually eliminate those traffic jams um, but i'm not quite sure how effective or efficient that it actually works uh, in 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 the, uh, the the game itself still need to upgrade the roads uh, uh, when there is a requirement for example uh, the traffic jams uh, are, are actually created by demand and supply whether or not uh, this winding road without any intersection actually helps eliminate traffic jams or not you still need to upgrade the roads over time when when the the time comes all this pollution zone you you, you know you have to keep out of the residential area to make them happy so try to push your industrial uh, waste management away from the residential area oh basically that's it for this uh, tips and tricks for sim city build it and i hope you enjoyed this video of course if you do enjoy give me a thumbs up share to your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye, -bye. okay so basically <laughs>